Hey, Zandy here. If you enjoyed today's video, leave a comment and subscribe to the channel. Margaret from Clearwater, Florida was born December 13, 1935. Margaret is an African American female standing at 5 feet 6 inches and weighing 142 pounds. Margaret has black hair and brown eyes and wears eyeglasses. On June 14, 1974, 38-year-old Margaret left her residence in the 1100 block of Wildwood Street in Clearwater, Florida to buy medicine for a sick relative. Margaret had borrowed her daughter's car when she left home. The vehicle, a 1970s Oldsmobile Cutlass, had a missing left front hubcap with Florida license plate number 4W50436. She was last seen wearing a black and white checkered pantsuit, white sandals, and a white gold ring set with one large diamond surrounded by several smaller diamonds. She has never been heard from again. Her husband, Leon Dash Sr., reported her missing the next day. He later passed a polygraph in connection with her disappearance and was ruled out as a suspect. The car that Margaret was driving was eventually found in an abandoned parking lot in St. Petersburg, Florida, a month after she was last seen. At the time of her disappearance, she had $8,000 in her checking account. Now, Margaret was having an affair with a former minister at the family church. The former minister even told Margaret's husband about the affair and apologized, but the relationship continued for months afterwards. When Margaret eventually decided to officially end the affair, she told her husband that when she tried to tell her lover their relationship was over, he threatened to kill her. In 1993, Margaret's husband requested that investigators reopen his wife's case. Margaret's daughters are still doing interviews about their mother's disappearance. The family is still waiting for answers. During a recent interview with the family in 2020, Margaret's youngest daughter said, I just remember waiting for her. I'm still waiting for her. She's not dead. We could feel it. Leon Dash Sr. remarried, but he says he'll never stop looking for Margaret. I look for her every day, he said. Just the other day, I saw a lady who walked like Margaret, so I turned back around to see her face. It wasn't her. I don't think I'll ever accept the fact that she's dead. Rita from Largo, Florida was born August 12, 1939. Rita is an African-American female standing at 5 feet, 1 inch, and weighing 130 pounds. Rita has black hair, brown eyes, and wears eyeglasses. Rita goes by the nickname Little Baby and her maiden name is Ingram. Rita walks with a limp and has surgical scars on both of her knees and her ears are pierced. 43-year-old Rita was last seen on the morning of December 19, 1982, driving away from her residence at the Breaker's apartment in the vicinity of 12,900 block of Campbell Lane in Largo, Florida. She was on her way to buy a laundry detergent at the time. Rita left home without taking any clothes and personal belongings. She was last seen wearing a red shirt and blue jeans. A few days after her disappearance, her husband got a letter supposedly from Rita saying that she left him to be with another man and that she wanted her children to stay with their father. She has never been seen or heard from again. Her white two-door 1976 Ford Elite was found in March of 1983, just four months after her disappearance, in the vicinity of 2900 block of Gulf to Bay Boulevard in Clearwater, Florida. Rita had lived with her husband for 25 years prior to her disappearance, and they have six children, but they didn't marry until shortly before her disappearance. Months before she vanished, her husband, then boyfriend, found out about an affair Rita was having with a married male friend of the family. Rita attempted self-harm after her boyfriend found out about the affair, and Rita survived her attempts, and she and her boyfriend were married. She then claimed that she ended her relationship with her lover. Rita's husband approached her lover after his wife disappeared and asked him outright where Rita was. The former lover responded that she had left with some white man and he had no idea where Rita was. Rita's husband eventually sought and was granted a divorce on the grounds of adultery. Danielle from Clearwater, Florida was born November 14, 1967. Danielle is an African-American female standing at 5 feet 5 inches and weighing 122 pounds. Danielle has brown hair and brown eyes and her ears are pierced. On April 4, 1989, 21-year-old Danielle was last seen leaving her home to go to class at St. Petersburg Junior College. She never arrived. 
Danielle's car was found abandoned behind a Hardee's restaurant at Belcher's Road and East Bay Drive in Largo, Florida. The car was reported by a random African-American male who gave his name as Johnny Bailey, who called a towing company to report that the vehicle was having trouble and needed to be towed. The man has never been identified, and the car turned out to only have a loose battery connection. Nothing else was wrong with it. A few days later, on April 6th or 7th, Danielle's father reported her missing that same day he got a letter supposedly from Danielle, which stated that she was involved with substances and that she was moving to Orlando, Florida to straighten out her life. Handwriting experts examined the letter and concluded that she did in fact write it. Danielle has never been seen or heard from again. A friend of Danielle stated her boyfriend gave her money and expensive gifts, which included a new car, though her parents made her return it. By the time of her disappearance, Danielle was frightened of her boyfriend and wanted to end their relationship. She told her father that her boyfriend said that he could make people disappear and told her mother that he had threatened her. After Danielle's disappearance, her boyfriend told the police that she was involved in substance trafficking and had possibly moved to Orlando, Florida. How are these related, you ask? Have you been able to figure out how all three cases are connected? Well, as it turns out, Margaret, Rita, and Danielle all had been dating the same man at the time of their disappearance. The man was Cleveland Hill Jr., a merry asphalt contractor and a former minister. He has never been charged in connection with any of the missing women's cases, and he maintains his innocence. The missing women did not know each other, and authorities have found no other connections between them other than their association with Cleveland Hill Jr. Cleveland Hill Jr. is no stranger to authorities. Listen to this. In 1968, six years prior to Margaret's disappearance, he went to prison for shooting his mother-in-law and his wife. They both survived the attack and Cleveland Hill Jr. was convicted of assault. Decades later, he went to prison for substance trafficking in 1992, just three years after Danielle's disappearance and was released in 2008. Foul play is suspected in all three cases which remain unsolved. Margaret would be 85 years old, Rita would be 81 years old, and Danielle would be 53 years old. If you have any knowledge on the whereabouts of Margaret Dash, Rita Lee Hires, or Danielle Chrisom Johnson, contact the Pineless County Police Department or your local police department. If you want to learn of other stories of missing African American girls and women, like this video, and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Remember to turn on notifications so you'll be alerted of my next upload. I'll see you on the next case. Thank you, Zandy.